Isn't this awesome? The first day of school. I'm so excited. Give it a few days. You'll get over it. Could life get any worse? Ah, uh, bright shining faces on a beautiful morning. Pop quiz time, and this one counts for most of your grade. Uh -huh. <laughs> You're a robot. Why do you need to use the... None of your business! Up, two, three, four! Let's see some hustle, white man! I can't move! What a day. I can't wait to get out of here. I am seriously at my breaking point. <laughs> I put bolts in the robot's locker. My office. Now. Hello? Noreen Wakeman? Yes? This is Vice Principal Rosinski. Uh, your daughter has been involved in a disturbance, and I was hoping you could join us for a bit of a discussion. This is a place of learning, Ms. Wakeman. Would you agree that we cannot tolerate disruptions? Yes. You need some serious attitude adjustment, young lady, or you'll be suspended. Sent home for three days. Really? That's a start. Not really long enough. Are you telling me you want to be expelled? Maybe I am. Because I'll do it, young lady. Just say the word. I'll have to get back to you on that. I'm serious. I really can do it. Just, just say the word. Uh, Jenny? Whatever. That's the problem with your generation. You slackers can't commit to anything. Maybe I should get myself expelled. Or maybe I should drop out and become an outlaw. Dropping out, huh? That's what I did. <laughs> you know, XJ9, there is another alternative. Homeschool. Homeschool? I've always wanted to try my hand at teaching. That's a great idea. No more classrooms, no more books, no more teachers' dirty looks. <laughs> hey, Brad, I'm going to go to homeschool. Homeschool? Are you sure about this, Jen? It'll be great. No concessions to Rosinski, and I can coast through school with my adult mother for a teacher. Jenny! No! Jenny! <laughs> Do you want to talk about it, Sheldon? XJ9, time for school. Okay, Mom, you're the teacher. We can play school if you want. Rest assured, XJ9, education doesn't have to be boring. This is my holographic chamber. We can create a world as limitless as our imagination. Wow, so we could go to ancient Greece or China and watch history unfold right before our eyes. Oh, sure, in theory, I guess you could. But for our purposes, I have made a virtual classroom. <clears throat> uh, good morning, class. My name is Dr. Wakeman, and this is my first day. So let's um, uh, take a roll. Um, Jennifer Wakeman. Uh, present. Very good. Now, it is my understanding that you are currently studying the War of 1812, so we'll pick it up there. But first, let's do a quick review of what led up to that. It all began with a huge explosion! <laughs> Gradually, the universe cooled, and the planet Earth began to form. <laughs> <laughs> it does seem unlikely, however. Did she really say that? Because if she did, then I'm gonna have to say that Marky is not the cutest of the cutie boys. Reggie is the cutest one. I know! Everybody knows that! It all began with a huge explosion! Eventually, the first planets began to form, drawn into orbit around the Whoa. Of gas She's really into the school star. thing. Our well, that makes one of us. individual <laughs> planets with 130 satellites and thousands of comets and asteroids. A pop quiz? I don't know any of this. Well then, that's an F. You have to learn this information, so you'd better start paying attention. This is going to be harder than I thought. Hello? Uh, Sorry, Brad. Mesmer sounds great, but I've got homework to do. <laughs> Well, 
let's go back to the beginning. It all began with a huge explosion. Mom, we went over all of this. So you were listening to me yesterday? Of course. Then when were pulsars first discovered? 1967. And how much do three dulcimers, 42.67 kilograms, and who, Marconi, invented wireless transmissions? That's very good, XJ9. Now, could you tell me what this is, please? That's a frequency jammer. And what happens when I turn it on? It, um, um, it messes up wireless transmissions. So, XJ9, could you please remind me who invented wireless transmissions? Let me think. Marconi! Where was the Declaration of Independence signed? Um... First man on the moon? Neil Armstrong. First woman president? Um... I can't tell. It's hard to read your writing. <laughs> I know. It's just atrocious. No more cheating, XJ9. You need to learn this information. It all began with a huge explosion, which pretty much held as the dominant theory until the advent of plasma accelerators. Wow. Who would have thought that you could give a three-hour non-stop physics lecture? Oh, <laughs> I'm just getting warmed up. Chapter 2. Physics enters its middle era. Excuse me, young lady. Shouldn't you be attending your physics lecture? Come on, Mom. To be a well-rounded student, I need extracurricular activities. Colleges eat that stuff up. Let's see. If I was on a college admissions board, what would I want to see? Lots of activities! Ooh, that could be fun. And there it is! A masterpiece of extracurricular curriculum! XJ9's gonna love this! XJ9! Get up, get up, get up! I've got a surprise for you! You are one lucky girl, because today, the Waitman School proudly offers a complete and unabridged selection of... extracurriculars. We've got sports! We've got choir! Would you like to try out for band? No. Or how about the school newspaper or the chess club? Uh... Or another time on a tradition, the prom. Do you like my prom dress? I'm Little Bo Peep. Okay, Mom. I think you've been working a little too hard on this school thing. I fixed you up with a prom date. You look lovely tonight. Would you like a nose game? Let me see if I got this right. We're going to sit in our imaginary school, and we're going to have a make-believe prom, and my prom date is my sister? That's right. Will you take our picture? Hey! You don't have a hall pass! You're crazy! A restaurant! The perfect place to study the human digestive system! Uh, the living classroom of the modern sewer. We can study water pressure, fluid dynamics! At this height, there's enough heat in my hand to boil water! The physics of space travel! Now there's a good lecture! This is too much! I can't take one more day of homeschool! I miss my old friends! I miss my old school! What? I thought you hated Tremonton High! Gosh, it wasn't so bad, really! I want to go back! I'll do whatever it takes! I'll change my attitude! <laughs> Anything is better than this, please! Well, I'm not so sure that... Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you! Hello, you ugly old building! Hello, curl gym teacher! Drop and give me 20! Hello, sarcastic science teacher! One more student, how wonderful! Hi, Brit and Tiff! <sighs> You again! Oh, didn't you run off and join the park rangers or something? How dumb do you have to be to flunk out of homeschool? High school bully! Whee! <laughs> Vice Principal Rosinski, you were totally right. I didn't need to change my attitude, and I have! I'm so happy to be back! I'm really starting to like you, Sheldy Weldy. And, um, I'm really starting to like... Oh my gosh, Jenna's back! Hey, Jenny! Sheldy! <laughs>
Here's your punch and cookies, Mom. Thank you, XJ8. Would you like to dance now? I said no, XJ8. Okay. How about now? Stop asking me that! Uh -huh. Dr. Wakeman speaking. Wakeman? Brzezinski, you worked a miracle with XJ9. Have you ever considered becoming a substitute teacher? Vice Principal Brzezinski, have I told you how- Happy you are? Yes, three times. Would you please take your seat? I sure will. Ms. Fossilbottom is out sick today. Luckily, I found a substitute teacher at the last minute. <gasps> Uh, so, with your studies, I don't know where you got so far, so, um, I'm just gonna start from the beginning. It all started with a huge explosion! Yee! 